Hey everyone, this is Agatha with 360 Photo Booth Expert, and today we're going to go over how to set up the optic. So the first things that you're going to need is your base plate. You'll need the actual monitor, which is with a 29 inch monitor. You'll need the bracket. You'll need a set of screws, which we'll go over in a moment, and then the headpiece, okay? So the screws that you're going to need, you'll see that there's three different types of screws. You're going to need six of the large ones, four of the medium sized ones, and then you're going to get four of the small little ones. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this unit and I'm going to set it here. Okay, and you're going to see that those four little screws that we just went over, those tiny ones, are going to go in here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is install that. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and put the two there and two on the other side. And this is what's going to be mounted on the top portion of that. Okay. Now I just went ahead and just put a sticker on here. I just wanted to see what it would look like and we'll set it up in just a moment. The next thing that I'm going to do is, this is optional for those of you that wanna add the roamer feature, okay? That means that you're gonna be putting the handle on the back. If you ever wanna become a roaming feature, you, you would just screw two more of these on the inside and I'll show you in just a moment, but you would have to remove this, okay? So I'm gonna just flip this around and I'm gonna show you, I'm going to insert and this is assuming that your iPad has not been installed. So what I'll do is I'll push this on the inside and then I'll screw this on the other side. So I'm gonna do that now. So as you can see that there is a screw just being put into the opposite end. I'm just gonna show you and I'm just gonna finish screwing it. I went ahead and installed that one. I'm gonna do the top, but for me to access that hole, I'm going to have to remove these screws here on the inner side. And that's also the way you're going to install your iPad. So let's do that next and start removing these. Okay, so I went ahead and removed all those screws. Uh, actually, I'm missing one more, hold on. All right, now we got it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this just for the time being. And now I'm ready to install the bigger screw right over here. The back piece should look something like this. Okay, and just a little revision. I don't have an iPad with me right now, but what you're gonna do is remove these two, these two, remove that. Your iPad will lay fl flat down, camera on top, okay? And then what you're going to do is put these bars right on top, okay? Make sure you secure this nice and tight so that way it's nice and flushed in there. And then if you want to, you can lift, if you remove these two screws and this one, like these three total, you could actually lift it and feed your cable through here. So I normally just have my, my cable fed down through the body. And that's how you successfully put in your iPad. Now we're ready to put everything back in. Screw all these screws back in. And remember, this is just a one-time thing. Let your iPad live in here if possible. So that way you're not um, possibly like uh, stripping any of these screws or anything like that. But just remember, we set you up with a bunch extra just in case. All right, let's finish this up. Just like that. And now I'm gonna grab my base plate and put it right on top and align it with these four screws here. All right, so just a little recap here. I have it upside down. I have my base plate here. And now I'm going to screw in these four large screws into the bottom. When you're complete, it should look something like this. And now I'm ready to put this in the upright position. Um, and just to let you know, these right here are the little feet in case you're wondering what those were. So this is what it should look like in the upright position. Now I'm gonna grab the last four screws and I'm going to put the head on to the top portion. And you're gonna see I'm gonna use these medium screws and I'm just gonna align it here. Now, if you would like to have your photo booth facing the customer, so like your monitor facing the customer, just know that you're going to put your iPad this way. The head is interchangeable. If you want it to be facing that way and this facing out to the client, you can also do it that way too. So just know that the head is interchangeable. So there you have it. I have my two screws on this side, two screws on this side. I have my iPad facing out this way along with the monitor. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to use our key. I'm going to open this up. And the one thing that I'm going to have you look for is this. So this is the power that you're going to feed up into this little silver slot here. Oops. So that's what we're going to do next. 
it should look something like this. Now, if you're going to be using the AC adapter, which is this power cable right here, you're going to be switching it this way. If you're going to be using the batteries, which are not included with the shell, they're only like 60 bucks. If you need the link, just send me a message and I'll send you the link um, for the roamer feature. You can just hit battery, okay? Now, now that that's connected, I wanna show you that there's another cable right here. This is where you're gonna connect your I iPad or yeah, your iPad charger. And then you're gonna run your cable from your iPad down this little hole and connect it to your charger here, okay? Now the final thing that you're going to connect down here is going to be your adapter. And this will give you your constant power when you connect to your outlet. There's also USB slots that you're going to use to upload your video. So our final piece, which is your thumb drive, it's already programmed. All you need to do is download your, um, your design, whether it's a JPEG picture, it could also be a movie file, which is like an MP4 or an MOV file. Once you upload it, you're just gonna drag and drop into here and then insert it here. Once you do that, it automatically populates on the monitor and there's really nothing else that you need to do other than that. Once it's uploaded and you'll see it live on your actual monitor, you're just going to remove it for safekeeping. And I would suggest putting this on maybe your keychain so that way it just lives there forever. Let me know if this helps you out. If you have any other questions, just let me know. We're always here to help you guys out. And then last but not least, Right here, this is how you change your different modes if you want it color or just white. This is how you increase the color, brightness, also the saturation, um, and you can also change the different color, white or dark, or different colors and all that. So play around with it and let me know if you guys have any extra questions.